With an additional division arriving soon, hopes are high that we may finally see a return to peace and stability in the region. Why is one man spared while another taken? To this day, I couldn't give you an answer. But death comes for us all, eventually. When you lose over 6,000 men in four hours, it's easy for one death to become just another number. But all I knew was my best friend was gone, and that part of me wished I had been taken instead. The dead, and they've settled their debts. It's up to the living to pick up the tab. And so it is time to say farewell to Private William Robert Irons, a man I had the privilege and honor to have under my command. A life is only important in proportion to its impact on the lives of others. By this standard, Private Irons ranks among one of our very best. He leaves behind family, friends, fellow Marines, and a grateful nation. I'm sorry, Mitchell. Will was one of our best. Look, we take care of our own. If you ever need any- Excuse me, Private Mitchell. I'm Jonathan Irons. I'm Will's father. Mr. Irons, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. I'm sure you are, Sergeant. Private Mitchell, you were Will's best friend. You both paid too high a price for your country. It was an unfortunate tragedy, sir. It was more than unfortunate, Sergeant. It was unnecessary. Son? I want to offer you a second chance. Mr. Irons, Mitchell's been discharged with his injuries. I'm aware of his injuries, Sergeant. At Atlas, we have prosthetics that are 20 years beyond anything the military could offer you. Will told me what kind of soldier you were. You deserve to fight for a military that's as effective as you are. Think about it. Don't let Will's death be in vain. Sergeant. position. Charge ready. Ah. 
Go clear. Mr. President, we're an Atlas rescue force. Can you authenticate? Zulu, Tango. Okay, please keep your head down and stay close. All right, son. Prophet, we have the package. Moving to extract. Copy, Atlas Zero One. Egress to the North Access Road. Copy that. Let's get him out of here. This way. We're detecting drones on the back patio. Let them pass. approaching. Get down. Hit the deck. Don't engage. Just let them pass. Status. Transport is coming in hot. ETA, one mic. We're gonna have to dig in until our ride gets here. Hold them off! Sloppy, Mitchell. You're a dead man. Reset! No excuse for equipment failure. Best weapon you have is the one between your ears. Use it. Resetting simulation. Everyone return to your starting position. It was his arm, sir. I knew it was too early. That arm's worth more to me than this entire facility. How's my boy doing? He's a work in progress. Well, keep working. This is a great soldier. It's a sad day indeed when the military has no use for good men like you. Jump in. I'll give you the tour. Joker, we're bringing Mitchell over to R&D. Get the sim prepped for another run. You got it, boss. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. Unlike the government, we don't keep secrets of our capabilities. We don't sell policy, we sell power. We are a superpower for hire. Power isn't just about the ability to destroy. 
Atlas has built infrastructures in places like Korea, Sierra Leone, Nigeria. We do in a few years what it takes governments decades to accomplish. In fact, the truth is, we're often more effective than the governments that hire us. As my son found out the hard way. Mitchell, I know you're not in this for the money. You remind me a lot of Will in that way. Now go get that arm fixed. <laughs> 